Hi there. This is just an update to uh, a video I did previously about bug nag. And you see him in all his glory. He's pretty much finished. I'll do a bit more shade in here and there. But I thought I'd show you him now. Just do a quick video of that. I've enjoyed uh, painting this fellow up, it's fairly easy to paint. I might, I might do his lips actually. He needs a bit of a yeah, needs a bit of lipstick on there. Or whatever the uh, Neanderthal equivalent is. Um, I've added a few white dots into the uh, animal pelt at the back. Tidied up a few things. Uh, I've got some more shading to do to um, even out a lot of this uh, flesh colour here and unify it. Um, I think his face is okay. You can see that alright. And uh, everything else is pretty much alright as far as I can see. Um, so that's bug nag. I enjoyed uh, enjoyed that little project, and um, just to finish him off, and start on uh, some of these other guys and girls. I'll start properly. I've already, already done some of the uh, skin tones and so on. I think she might be next. Liam Goethe, I think that's her name. Liam, L A M E, Liam. Not Liam, the name. Might could be, I suppose. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hi there again. The next step in. Uh, Putting bug nag into one place is to use this stuff, quick shade dip, which is uh, pretty stinky. Just put the air filter on. I've got a brush prepared here, got a glove on as well, and I have some odorless spirit here to uh, first of all thin down the uh, dip once I've applied it and uh, second of all to um, clean the brush uh, once I've used that here's, here's bug nag before he goes in the dip I'll give, I'll give you a full view round just so you can remember exactly how he looks and there's the dip over there and uh, here he goes Thick stuff, this gloopy it does drip a lot. I suppose that's the intention, that's the idea. I can shake a bit of it off. I'm going to turn bug nag up the other way. And what I'm going to do, which is off camera, but I'm going to take this brush here and dip it in the um, Orderless spirit, and then I'm going to uh, start to paint some of this dip off. Give it another dip in the uh, white spirit, the orderless spirit. You'll see here where this um, this is contrast paint. This loin cloth skirt thing he's wearing. It um, turned out very dark, too dark really. I 
pretty sure I'm going to have to highlight that once everything else is finished and you'll see I've covered up quite a lot of the details that were part of his uh, cloak To just uh, brush those clear, but it's uh, added in. Oops, we're going out of uh, camera range there a bit. Now why am I using this stuff anyway you might be asking yourself it took ages to paint this, painted it nice, blended all that wet blending used contrast paints to um, get nice shading differences well that was the intention, I'm not, not entirely sure about those contrast paints or whether they uh, do the job they're intended to Lot of this stuff gathering up there at the bottom of the base. Let's let's brush that out of the way. So why am I doing this stuff? As I said, well, first of all, it really is very good. It's shading. It unifies all the colours. And uh, secondly, it's a very very tough varnish. It uh, really protects the figures. It does two jobs. I could probably do uh, much of what you see me doing with a um, sort of agrax earth shade, uh, one of those other shading compounds. But that wouldn't offer the protection that this does. The downside of this stuff is it takes so long to dry. And you've got to just, uh, for this first while at least, or maybe longer, keep uh, keep it from pulling up too much. But I think, for now, I'm happy with that. I have a cat in the room with me and it won't start. It's um, hinting to me that it wants me to open the door. Oh, let's see if I can uh, move some of these lights around. I hope you get a better view of the camera. See some nice shadows under there, I'm okay with that, and under there, let me clear these details a little bit, just by his foot there seems to be a bit of a, a pull. Okay, well, I'm going to leave him like that until he dries. It's going to be very shiny when he dries up, but also hopefully a um, unified shaded color as well. There's a little bug knife there. Okay, thanks for watching. Time to uh, clear up and uh, put everything away. Thanks, bye. Hi right there, here's Bugnag again, this is after the um, army painter dip and uh, my varnish as well which is uh, over there, and this 
careful, I'll use this one. I've got enough of it. You can see what it looks like. I think he's come up pretty good. The details are uh, reasonably well preserved on the um, pelts and so on. I've got those extra shadows. It's, uh, Flesh colours are unified a little bit anyway. Not perfect, could do more of course. Can always do more. But uh, he's well protected. So I may go and um, do some more highlights. He's still a bit shiny in places. Because that, uh, that uh, army painter dip is very shiny. Anyway, that's Bugnag. I hope you've enjoyed seeing him progress from uh, just a metal figure to this painted version. What I've also done is I've uh, painted up his compatriot, uh, Liam Goethe. I think that's her name anyway. I'll put it in the subtitles. And she's the, um, I think she's the high priestess of their, this group. Now this one I painted mostly with contrast paints, and they're, they're, they're okay. Okay, you'll see that green colour. I'm looking through the camera, but I can also see the figure, and it, the version on the camera doesn't look quite the same as the one in, uh, in reality. It's a lot, uh, it was a bit darker in reality. There's a cat crumpling away at the background. I've got two cats in here today. I've added a few more details to the back of her uh, sort of fur hood. Uh, not a hood, but it's like a mane. Part of whatever beast it is that she uh, supposed to have taken this uh, pelt from. Um, again, another very nice little figure. I enjoyed painting that up, uh, her up, it up, whatever. And um, yeah. Hope you enjoy it as well. Um, I think, um, yeah, these contrast paints, they're okay. They're okay if you you can paint something and you're not going to be over painting it or it's not very detailed, like a pelt or something. One of them came out very dark. Uh, the, the stuff on Bug Nikes, uh Loin cloth, whatever that's called, that lower part of his equipment dress. And the green came out okay. Also painted the spear, the groundwork. Painted that back of her cloak. But yeah, I, I think it has maybe it does have a place to get a get a colour on there with some basic shading. And, uh, and then you'll want to come in and um do some proper painting, shall we say. Hope that doesn't insult too many people. Uh, with your blending and uh etc. Uh this figure hasn't been treated with the uh, army painter dip. Uh, I do if I don't have to, I don't bother. But I thought it would look good on Bugnag. That extra level of shading. Anyway, I'll just put the pair of them there. And uh, leave you with that image. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And bye bye for now.